Hey, welcome to yet another Emacs package overview. Today we are looking at web mode. Web mode is the mode for editing all sorts of templates and HTML. So let's get started. You can learn more about web mode at web-mode.org. There is a hefty amount of documentation provided with all the different customization you can deploy. Uh, but I'm going to give you a quick overview of all of the main features and show you a bunch of key bindings that I tend to use when editing templates and HTML files. So the most obvious feature is of course syntax highlighting. You can see in the document uh, over here that I have some CSS embedded and at the end of it there's some JavaScript. But you can notice that the syntax is highlighted slightly different both for HTML and for uh, CSS in this case. So this means that web mode figures out the context of the nesting within the document tree and highlights the syntax accordingly. So yes, smart indentation. No matter what you type in what context is going to be indented in a smart way. So let's say I want to create a class but I don't want to be bothered jumping around with the cursor, cursor uh, and the white space. All I have to do just to basically just write the class, whatever is the name of the class, and then the property, and that's it. Uh, the indentation works out of the box, and it's uh, smart about whether you are editing CSS or JavaScript. Another feature is a great compatibility with all the different templating engines. Uh, make sure that you check out the engines section at the provided documentation, because all of the different templating languages are grouped into engine families. Uh, yeah, just make sure that you check it out. I'm pretty sure your templating engine uh, is going to be supported by web mode. In this case, we can see that syntax highlighting works for uh, uh, Nunjax file, which is which belongs to the Django uh, template family. All right, jumping back to HTML, a very cool feature that web mode provides is code folding, uh, which allows us to reduce the clutter, the visual clutter. So Control C, Control F folds whatever uh, element you are currently in and pressing it again unfolds it again. So if I'm going to do it within the uh, the body document if I and I just want to fold the P, I'm just folding the P and whatever is inside the P. Another keystroke saving feature of web mode is auto closing and auto pairing. It's basically the same thing but it's called differently whether you're dealing with templates and HTML files. But basically what it does, it just closes the tags for you or like the blocks of code. So in this case, I want to create a new document. Uh, I want to create a div. And to close it, all I really have to do is just do uh, the left, uh, the left uh, bracket and the slash and it's going to be closed and we jump to the middle of the element. All right, similar situation happening with the templates. Let's say I want to get the block and close it at the same time. All I have to do is just to start typing. So block hello. Something. And block. So basically it's just the same feature. I'm just showing it to you across the board that it works both for HTML and for templates. So there are different editor plugins which allow you to type HTML faster. Uh, one of them is Emmet, but web mode does have some functionality that's somewhat similar to Emmet's functionality, which is the expansion of different tags. So this also helps you to uh, save some keystrokes and uh, some movement on the keyboard. So let's say I would like to create a div tag. All I have to do is just to press D slash uh, in, uh, in, in web mode. So D slash creates a diff. Let's say I want to create a span inside it, another span, another span, another span, and another span. And uh, yeah, here we saved a lot of typing. So pretty useful feature. Uh, check out all the different abbreviations that web mode uh, provides for these, uh, for these actions. And yeah, enjoy them. Auto quoting for attributes is also a useful feature. It exactly does what it says on the tin. So div and then we do uh, key value. So as you could see, we already jump right into the middle of the attribute we want to edit. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Works out of the box for any different type of templating language and C and HTML. You can also insert different types of snippets. So that's uh, Control C, Control S. And there is some auto-completion of different available snippets. Let's say I want to do, I, uh, I want to insert a table and I do insert like the basic table. Uh, yeah, uh, without configuration is not super useful, but uh, you can get your boilerplate templates right in here and uh, yeah, keep them close and use, use them. However, people tend to use Yast snippet instead. So uh, your millet may vary with this feature of web mode. It's somewhat useful for simple stuff. Another useful feature is toggling comments over different blocks of code. Let's say I would like to comment out the whole table. All I really have to do is just press meta semicolon and the whole block of code, block of HTML gets commented out. And I can press the button, uh, the button again and uh, it jumps back up and, we can, and it's un uncommented. Another useful feature for people who are overly pedantic as I am is white space detection. Well, more precise to be, it's invalid white space detection. All we have to do is press Control C, Control W, and uh, we get to see special characters which show us the uh, uh, the white space. And in this case, uh, I don't have that much of uh, invalid one sp white space. However, if there are some occurrences of uh, white space where it shouldn't be. It's being highlight highlighted according to the theme that you have enabled. What makes web mode stand out is definitely the clever uh, selection and expansion. Uh, Control C, Control M marks the current element and re repeatedly pressing this key binding is going to mark further and uh, like bigger and bigger uh, swaths of HTML and it basically goes up the uh, the document tree until we select the whole thing once we are past this selection and there's nothing else that we could select it jumps back to the element that we started selecting from it's pretty useful for moving around like big chunks of of html which is of course nested and it does save a lot of time and the final feature I want to mention upon which I'm going to spend the rest, pretty much the rest of this video is the streamlined navigation and manipulation that web mode provides. So in web mode, there are three different things to work with elements, tags, and attributes. Elements have three components, the beginning tag, content, and the end tag. The tag is basically one thing with embraces. Uh, since you are watching this because of probably editing HTML files, you know what a tag is, you know what, ele what an element is, and you know what an attribute is. However, you might not be familiar with the blo what block is, but block is basically a blob of code that is tagged in a similar way, but is being edited in a context of template. So a block in our case is in this case content or header, etc., etc. All right, so let's start with elements. So in web mode, all key bindings that have to do with elements start with Control C, Control E, and we have a couple of things to do. First, we can start with navigation. So Control C, Control E, P, N goes for to a previous element to the next element. Control C, U, and uh, D goes up and down uh, within the tag within the elements as well. So in this case, Control C, Control E, P goes to the previous, control C, control C, E, P, goes to the previous element, control C, control E, N, uh, goes forward, so to say, forward, back, we can think of it that way. I mean, the mnemonics are kind of useful, because P, previous, N, next, uh, control C, E, U, goes up the tree, control C, E, D, goes down the tree. So we can go basically forward, back, left, and right. We can also navigate within the tag, so control C, control E, E goes to the end of the tag. As you can see, in this case, this is after the closing tag. And Control C, Control E, B goes to the beginning of the tag, which is the first character of the tag. That's pretty much it. That's all uh, when it comes to navigation within element. Regarding selection, we have two things that we can select. It's either the content, that Control C, Control E, uh, A. So everything but the closing and the end tag. 
or control C, control E, S, which is the binding that selects content and the beginning tag and the closing tag. So the last thing we can do is control C, control E, F. So basically that's toggling all the children element. Control C, control E, F, that's untoggling those. Uh, let me just repeat this on the bigger element. That's pretty much it. When it comes to manipulation, what we can do is we can uh, close the element. So that's pretty much as typing uh, brace slash, while here we do control C, control E slash. So whatever uh, you prefer. Uh, we can also rename the element, control C, control E, R. Of course, that's test two. Uh, so it renames both the beginning and end. We can make the element disappear. So control C, control E, V, that's for vanish. So it's going to vanish, basically deletes the element and everything inside it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it removes the white space as well. We can also wrap an element in another element. So in this case, we would like to wrap the table in a div. So control C, control E, W, and we do diff. So everything is wrapped nicely and nested again. We can clone an element. In this case, we will clone uh, the whole diff element and a clone is going to appear on the same level uh, of nesting as a sibling to the currently copied element. So control C, control E, C, and we jump to the cloned element right away. We can insert an element in a specific place. So let's say we want to insert something something here. So tag name, uh, let's use the P this time. And uh, another, another insertion, let's insert a span. And uh, yeah, that's it, control C, control C, uh, control C, control E, I. We can also kill an element, control C, control E, K, control C, control E, K. And we can also transpose an element. And transpose means, in this case, change the order on the same level of nesting, basically. So we have high in the second uh, second uh, cell, but we would like to move it to the first one. Control C, Control E, T swaps the empty cell with the one with high. All right, getting onto the tags. So all the tags key binding starts with Control C, Control T, and we have the same concept. So we can move around uh, the tags and we can manipulate them. Speaking of movement, we can go to the next tag, to a previous tag, that's Control C, Control T, uh, Control C, Control T, P for the previous one, Control C, Control T, N for the next one. Here I'm just uh, navigating forward uh, onto the next tag, Control C, Control E, P. And now to the previous one. So we can also navigate to the end and the beginning of the given tag. That's control C, control T, E, and control C, control T, E, B. So control C, control T, E, that's end of the tag. Control C, control T, B, that's the beginning of the tag. Speaking of selections, we can just select the tag that control C, control T, S, and that's pretty much it. When it comes to tag manipulation, we can do two things with key bindings. First is to, mo to jump to the matching tag. So let's say if we are at the table and we press Control C, Control T, M, we jump to the closing tag. Control C, Control T, M jumps back uh, to, the, to the opening tag. And we can also uh, sort all the attributes on the tag. That's Control C, Control T, A for sorting. So the last entity that we can work with in web mode is the attribute itself. First, we can select the attribute that control C, control A, S for selecting. This selects the key equals and the value itself. This is useful for deletion and moving the attributes around. When it comes to attribute navigation, we have pretty much exactly the same key bindings as with other entities. So in this case, let's say we want to uh, go to the end of the uh, of the attribute. So control C, control A, E goes to the end and control C, control A, B goes to the beginning of the tag. And of course we have like next and previous navigation. So control C, control A, N, control C, control A, N goes to the next tag, control C, control A, uh, P goes to the previous tag. Speaking of attribute manipulation, 
we can of course insert an attribute that's control C, control A, I. Name is name, value is value. And the new attribute gets appended after all of the existing attributes. We can also kill an attribute. So control C, control A, K kills both the key equal sign and the value. And the last thing is, of course, transpose. Control C, Control A, T. And that, again, swaps the order of the current tag with the next one, and the next one, and the next one. The last thing is templates. In templates, we manipulate blocks. So all key bindings that have to do with blocks start with Control C, Control B. We do have navigation. So basically beginning of the block and end of the block, that's control C, control B, E, end of the block, control C, control B, B, beginning of the block. We can go to the next one and the previous one, that's control C, control B, N for the next, and control C, control B, P for the previous one. With regards to manipulation, we can close the block. So let's say I'm creating a new one block high and if I want to close it that control C control B C for closing it and if I want to kill the block that's control C control B K all right there are a few things I'm not mentioning in this video when it comes to functionality but as you know and probably guessed everything in webmo is highly customizable as basically everything in the Emacs land so check out the documentation I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, enjoy editing your templates. That's it for today.